nutritional deficiencies in plant under this topic today we are going to study about the molybdenum deficiency in this lecture we are going to study about the major functions of molybdenum in plants molybdenum deficiency symptoms soil conditions that affect the molybdenum availability to plants and control of molybdenum deficiency let us start molybdenum is one of the six minor chemical element that are required by green plants the other five minor elements are iron copper zinc manganese and boron these elements are termed minor because plants need them in a very small amount in comparison to the major elements such as nitrogen phosphorus potassium sulfur calcium and magnesium but these minor elements are essential for normal growth of the plant of this six minor element molybdenum is needed in smaller quantities than any of the other as little as 50 grams of molybdenum per hectare will satisfy the needs of most of the crops function of molybdenum in plants molybdenum is needed by plants for chemical changes associated with nitrogen nutrition in non leguminous plants such as cauliflower tomatoes lettuce sunflower and maize molybdenum enables the plant to use the nitrates taken up from the soil where the plant has sufficient insufficient molybdenum the nitrates accumulate in the leaves and the plant cannot cannot use them to make proteins as a result the plants become stunted and the symptoms very similar to those of nitrogen deficiency at the same time the edges of the leaves become scorched by the accumulation of unused nitrates therefore molybdenum is essential for the proper utilization of nitrates in plants in leguminous plants such as clover beans peas molybdenum plays two important role the plant need it to break down nitrates taken up from the soil in the same way as non leguminous plant and one major function is it helps in the fixation of atmospheric nitrogen by the root nodule bacteria legumes need more molybdenum to fix nitrogen than to utilize the nitrates function of molybdenum in plants a large number of molybdenum deficiency disorder are associated with the disruption of the normal activity of several enzymes involved in nitrogen metabolism and these enzymes are first one is nitrogenase this enzyme is required for biological nitrogen fixation both by a symbiotic and symbiotic nitrogen fixing bacteria the second enzyme is nitrate reductase and this enzyme is required for the reduction of nitrate it is necessary for the incorporation of nitrate in proteins third enzyme is xanthine dehydrogenase and this enzyme is involved in the synthesis of uric acids from purines molybdenum deficiency symptom in most of the plants 
The molybdenum deficiency symptoms are associated with build up of nitrates in the affected plant part and this is due to the result of poor nitrate reductase activity. Major symptoms are first one is pale leaves with intervenial and marginal chlorosis means yellowing of leaves and necrosis. Second is the whip tail disorder in brassica crops especially in cauliflower. Third one is decreased tasseling in mage. Fourth one is premature germination of mage grain and the fifth one is, is in legumes, inhibition of nitrogen fixation may lead to pale yellowing nitrogen deficient plant. The size and number of root nodules are also reduced. In cauliflower, the yellowing of the tissue on the outer leaves is followed by the death of the edges of the small heart leaves. When these develop, the absence of leaf tissues on, the, uh, on their edges result in the formation of narrow distorted leaves. Affected leaves are usually slightly thickened and the leaf edges turn to curl upward. As we seen in this picture, the leaf edges curl upward and this symptom is known as the whip tail disorder. The main symptom of molybdenum deficiency in non-leguminous plants are stunting of plant and failure of leaves to de develop a healthy dark green color. The leaves of affected plants shows a pale green or yellowish green color between the veins and along the edges. In advanced stage, the leaf tissues at the margins of the leaves dies. The older leaves are more severely affected in molybdenum deficiency. In mage, premature germination of grains occur. The germination of grains occur before harvesting. Soil condition. Molybdenum deficiency is common in many different types of soil. Some soils have low total molybdenum concentrations and other soils have low plant available molybdenum due to strong molybdenum sorption. Symptoms are the most common where both conditions apply such as in acid sandy soils. Molybdenum may be strongly sorbed in iron stone soils. Liming of soils frequently relieves molybdenum deficiency by decreasing the molybdenum sorption in soil. Control of molybdenum deficiency. In most soils, molybdenum present in an unavailable form will be released by applying lime or dolomite in the soil. The effect of liming on molybdenum availability is slow and it may take several months to correct the deficiency. The amount of lime or dolomite needed may range from 2 to 8 tons per hectare and it depends on pH of the soil and whether it is sandy or heavily textured. Compounds which are used as a fertilizer include sodium molybdate, ammonium molybdate, molybdic acid, 
molybdenum trioxide and molybdenum sulfide. When molybdenum compound is used as a fertilizer, the quantities recommended vary from 75 gram to 1 kg per hectare depending on the crop and the molybdenum material. Molybdenum can be applied in the following ways. It is mixed with fertilizer or it may be applied in solution form to the seedling in the seed bed before transplanting or in solution form to the leaves of plant in the fields or uh, to the soil at the base of plant in the field. For further readings, I would like to suggest the following links and Book of Plant Pathology by George and Agrios. Thank you for watching.